so welcome guys with another reaction with your favorite couple the toxic couple toxic channel whatever you want to call it <laughs> reaction of today uh we got i don't know if these uh, topics are interesting to you guys but uh, it's it's like uh P pbd uh, he's an interviewer he's originally iranian living in america right now and he have a podcast so he invited Bessem yusuf i think everyone is familiar with Bessem yusuf how he hit up uh, the internet like Cat Williams did uh, just recently and uh, with Bassem Yusuf did it before so it's all the debate about Israel-Palestine let's just dig in and see how it goes and then from there we saw I actually think you're a smart guy I actually think you know your stuff you're just so fixated that Israel's the problem the problem in the Middle East like I said follow the money the countries that are succeeding the Qataris, even the Saudis these days. These days, they're coming into the modern world. They're leaving the, the sixth century mentality behind and say, let's get into the 21st century. Where, where they need to succeed, in, whether it's Gaza or whether it's Lebanon or whether it's Syria and whether Afghanistan, they need to focus on GDP, not GDT. Gross domestic product, not gross domestic terrorism. And the problem is they're obsessed. Put the guns down. Put the Quran down. Actually start living by the words that the Quran says, not some false uh, equivalent of what they think is actually going on there. Oh. You talk about the genocide. Wait a minute, and wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to address this. When the, what, uh, what he says about the Quran, probably he didn't read the Quran before and he doesn't know anything about it. So when you speak about the Quran, you don't think that the people who are going to keep babies and others, they are following the Quran. That's not following the Quran. We all know that. You understand what I'm saying, right? Because the, the Quran teach morals. You cannot... Someone ignorant just came up with, don't know what he's saying. Okay, let's just check. I don't, know, I don't want to get hit up on it. You can speak whatever you want, but just leave the religion outside. Leave the Quran outside. In Israel or in Gaza as if it's just a matter of fact well let me let me let me show some stats for you because after you see these stats Israel's the worst genociders ever the numbers the, according to the world data if you trust data between 1990 and 2022 the Palestinian population overall went from 2 million to 5 million okay pretty bad at genocide if that's what's happening right there in Gaza it went from 645,000 to 2.1 million it's 3x that ain't genocide to me. Now, do 20,000 people, 30,000 people needlessly killed during this bullshit war that was started by Hamas? Is that horrible? One million percent. And any Jew or any Israeli Give me that number said, again. 600,000 to what? 645,000 to 2.1 million. From what to, from one, from one to where? This is in 1990 to 2022. Do you know Pull why they increased? Because they're having babies like crazy. No. You see, this is how in how how like when you watch that mm -hmm. uh, while being uninformed makes me look it makes you look very stupid. Tell me why. Tell the me how the tell me how the, the population has the gone reason. from two million to five million. Exactly. He just came. He, he, he's speaking only with his emotion. Speak. You need to know what you're saying. Do not speak with your emotion. Came to a platform and just speak with your emotion. Yeah, because most of the 1.5 extra million didn't come from Gaza. They were pushed away from other parts of Israel. So most of these people, they have increased because of refugees no, being kicked out. If you're talking about the settlers, those are tens of thousands. Stop I'm talking it. about Those Gaza. aren't millions of people dude, 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 listen, moving houses. My wife's house. family is not from Gaza, and yet they found themselves in Gaza because they were sitting in other, uh, other cities and villages outside Gaza. This is the systemic pushing of people from other parts of Israel, yeah. pushing them That's to Gaza. That's not millions of people. This is why I said that you're intellectually million. dishonest. No, intellectually no actually lazy no that's not the cause of millions of people I'm, being I'm, moved. I'm, I'm sorry i'm familiar with the settler no, stuff no, this and is, the disengagement you in 2006 it, you don't know what you're talking about it's, no, these are people that millions are of people what? okay the people who belong to gaza are 700,000 people right now gaza is 2.2 million that is not birth rate my friend mm -hmm. these are people pushed from and by the way that's not the first time 1948 uh, at the uh, night of the declaration of the state of Israel, 1.5 million, 1.5 million Palestinians were like moved overnight. So it's not the first okay. thing. So before you tell, uh, giving me numbers to you want to appear sure. smart, know what are behind the numbers because these are not people that uh, give in babies. Okay. These are be people being pushed from other places in order to be part of the open 
air prison that it is. Okay, so then, so, it then, is not, then, it's, so it's not then deliver, if you want to fact check me, let me fact check you. Mm. Anytime that there's numbers increasing, Basif, going from 650, 450, whatever you want to call it, to 2 million, however it happens, that's the exact opposite of a genocide. So the whole genocide, the whole open air prison, it's are my talking friend. points. Are talking points of BS. No, this and this is why I said you're either intellectually lazy, no, no, or no. you just hate Bas Israel. Basically, you dis you dis this whole thing about you hate Israel and hate Islam. This is a very lazy way to talk to people. It's kind of you know, like your kind of like your thing. What, what did I tell you that is so lazy? What did I tell you that you're fucking racist? Because I'm, you've already said that. Multiple no, I times. didn't say. Yeah, I you said, did, I you said, said that multiple times. I said your undertone is racist. No, okay. no one. So not not me, two, but what's going on inside of me? And someone and some like you the way that you analyze numbers is very lazy because again really these when i actually use stats and data from, let from me hear the most credible sources that's lazy. The these we'll are up. numbers that were outside you've of said Gaza. no stats it, it, you it, give it, a it, fucking it's opinion like the saying whole time that california has increased <laughs> triple or the size of uh, like te people in texas increased because of birth rate no they increased because people from california started moving voluntarily you have pushed 1.5 million people outside of gaza inside of gaza in a matter of 12 years and that's why the number has inflated mm -hmm. it's not because they were giving birth rate so then they were, then they were where's pushed, the genocide they were they were evacuated where's this alleged genocide happening? that's happening right now under okay. your eyes so as of as of three months ago there was no genocide and so it's just a new well thing. we didn't actually use the word genocide before three months ago okay but you've we been calling for it. the river for the we sea didn't use it for decades so well, well. Also, also, Israel have a lot of maps that is co uh, putting in the greater Israel from the Nile and the Euphrates. That's that genocide for five countries there. And this is not by people in the street or people on YouTube. These are ministers. These are officials in the official government of Netanyahu. If you have someone, a, a, an, an Arab president, like the Egyptian president or the Jordanian king, tell you from the river and the sea, it's like, oh, it's the Arab authorities. You are basically complaining people on Facebook and the official. Uh, viewpoint of the Israeli government. You're basically comparing apples to oranges. It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. You're basically comparing activists with people with power, with money, and with weapons. So I don't know how come you're comparing So them. what's your solution? Because you got all these answers and you have no solutions. What's your solution? Justice. Stop okay. killing people and, okay. g and give them back their land. That's it. Okay. And, and, and giving them back the land that is going to be a much more complicated thing. Who's going to lead your negotiations? Mahmoud Abbas, 88 years old? I have no idea, man. No, no. I have no idea. You, that's the I point is no you idea. don't have an idea. Well, I'm, 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 when I say I have no idea, I'm being humble because there's a million people who can do it. But like, I'm not a politician. I'm a comedian. I come here to tell some of my opinions. But the thing is, you want to put me mm -hmm. and, and then you use that and you give me, I'm sorry to say, butchered political information and numbers yeah, that doesn't stats say anything. Stats are really butchered in political yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it, but it's interesting how you have all the solutions for Israel, but you have no solutions for Gaza or Hamas. Very interesting. Very opinion. interesting how you can critique everything that's going on in Israel. Yes, they do have some things they need to rectify. Just like the United States, just like any democracy. You've got all the answers there, boss. If, when I said, what do they do over here in Gaza? What do they do? I have no idea. I'm just a comedian. Don't listen to me. So which one is it? You either know your shit or you're actually... Good. So what was your question? What's the solution so for what's Israel? So what's the solution for Gaza? Back the land. For Gaza, how yeah. about you stop the killing and then we can okay, talk? Okay, so let's say we do that. Okay. So I, I, here's what I believe. I, need, I think we need to demilita demilitarize Gaza. We need to de-radicalize because they're the leading. How are you going to de-radicalize? De how are you doing well, that? Well, maybe let's stop. So how about let's stop summer schools the, where they teach about okay. jihad ha, ha, and they start playing football okay, and how, soccer. How about the religious schools okay. in Israel that actually tell people that we should kill all Arabs? And these well, videos you, are you know all those idea. Jews that are running around bombing everywhere around the yeah. world? No, it doesn't fucking exist. Muslim also doesn't do this shit. What the? F ah, people are so ignorant. People are so ignorant. Like the way he said it. Like, they are not bombing, you don't see this kind of thing, but it's an opposite. But we see in Islam, you're doing this shit. We're not doing this shit. We are not doing... Or have you seen Muslims do this shit? No, the people who believe in the Quran, they don't do this shit. It's haram. Oh, it's really? only in Islam. Oh, really? But what about the Jews killing the Palestinians inside? I'm talking about the around the world. If oh, I said there was we're, a... We're bad people. Why not? We listen to this guy. I don't know what the fuck he is. Oh, we're bad people. No, Take that, us out. That's not what I'm saying. No, no, no. We're very... Okay, we are, what I'm we, saying we is they need to... We are a terrorist religion. We are a terrorist religion. Take us out. You said it. Your Let's words. Let's do it. You yeah. said it. Let's your do words. It. Yeah. Your words. Let's do it. I mean, like... Your words. This is, this is like you have, a, you have a really interesting outlook for people who look like me. You look at me and I'm Muslim and you you have all of these assumptions about me being a terrorist. While Islam not is not all. a terrorist. You, you know said the words, you know the I didn't say the words. You know what's the difference between you Islam said the and terrorists? They go on, on like some rogue groups and they kill and they do shitty stuff. But you have like a whole country no. with a whole military arsenal who is committing 
terrorism every single day back to there by it the is. US. There's your Israel talk. Yeah, yeah, Israel yeah. I'm talking gonna talk it. I'm th that's my that's opinion. That's my opinion. Totally that's cool. That's my opinion. Totally cool. Yeah. It's all good. But you're trying to tell me that Islam doesn't have a terrorist problem? Islam, Muslims have a terrorist problem. Correct. It's like when you say Islam has a Muslim problem. When yeah, when he speak about Islam, Islam is a religion. You cannot say Islam have terrorists. You can say Muslims, or you can say Jews, or you can say Christian. The people who behind the act of what they are doing, they are the problem. It's not religion the problem. Christianity is not the problem. Jewish, Judaism is not the problem. Islam is not the problem. The people who follow that religion, and they interpret it like they want. That's the problem what it is. Come on, bro. That's a, you need to have a much higher IQ. Is a, what the fuck can you bring these ideas? When you say Judaism has a Muslim problem, all right? A lot of Muslims are assholes, and so, they're doing sh horrible stuff, and the, I, I do not feel the need to defend those people because those people don't represent me. The thing is... If Jews were running thing, around all over the world blowing themselves up as suicide bombers, as a Jew, I'd be like, guys, what the fuck are we doing here? What okay. are we doing here? Okay. This is accomplishing nothing. So let's but here's the, the so let's keep But here's the, the reality. Jews the aren't doing that. And Christians Jews are aren't not. doing that. Jews are not. Let me ask you a They're question. They're not doing that in Gaza. They're not doing that in the West Bank. Everything you talk about is Gaza. I'm talking yeah, about the world. Yeah, because that's what's happening You're so obsessed with this one topic. I am. I'm trying because to understand my the world. Lives there. Okay. Because my, fa my family lives there. But my family's in Israel. Really? So only your family counts. My family doesn't no, count? No, no, no. Okay, but like, did your family are living in an open air prison and being killed every day? The open air prison, the genocide. Get them. You see how you're making new talking points. You see how. Open it's air the prison. Only talking point. Israel left it's Gaza the only in 2006. It didn't leave. It okay. left and they put it under blockade. It's called the disengagement. It, they, no, why no do problem. they have a blockade? Maybe because they're shooting missiles hundreds of times a day. Yeah, I'd pretty much move yeah. a country in a you, blockade you, if you they were cut, shooting you missiles cut, you cut every single day. You cut them from the air, day. cut them from the sea, cut them from the water, and so like, okay, go live. How Let, do you do that? Let's move on from Israel because I know you're hyper obsessed with it. Why? I'm not hyper obsessed. You keep asking me about Israel. No, I ask you about the world and I'm asking you about Christianity and Muslims and Judaism. You want to focus on Israel. Why? can Muslims move to any Christian country they want, but Christians and Jews can move to zero Muslim countries. Ah, that's a lie. For the fuck's sake, where, where did he bring his status from? Egyptian, Egypt is almost half Christian. Where did he bring his status from? Why is that? What about Dubai? What about I'll ask Arabia? it again. What about all of these countries? What, what are you talking you, about? You mean the country? You're just mentioning Qatar and Dubai and all of there's like a lot of expats living you, there. So the middle, th this is my point, and I'm glad you're catching on. Yeah. <laughs> that I'm not racist. I'm, I'm pointing out. Well, there are this guy is not racist, whatever he says, he's not racist, but his IQ is too much low. In countries who like, like shit, I wouldn't lose no, that I, because of the economy. I, I'm pointing out that in certain Muslim countries, they're getting it right. Or at okay. least attempting to. Good for them. Okay? Yeah. Yes, good for them. Mm -hmm. Good for Qatar. Good for UAE. Good for Saudi and what MBS is doing. Good for them. They're examples of what could be done. Gaza, if they took the billions of government of, of international aid, could be Dubai. But they decided to make a terror state. So the question that I'm where, asking where does, is... What, what, you, are you saying that like, there's so many money coming in and just like Hamas used it in order to make weapons? There's people of Hamas who are literal billionaires living in Qatar, flying around on private yeah, yeah. jets. They're, they're, How do you explain they're that? They're horrible people and I don't condone them. All right. Okay. I'm talking about the millions of people in Gaza. But, you know, oh, horrible them. people, Hamas. Let's not talk, talk about that. We'll move on. But Israel, let's, let me, let me, let me, let me give you a Gaza. dissertation Dude, over here. Like, you're, you're, you have but, a, but you I'm have, trying to give you some... just like shouting over me I'm not because yeah, every time I'm okay, talking you, you are basically you talk. going around all of the stuff that's happening with Muslim uh, people that is bad and then you uh, and basically what you're doing is you are undertoning you are trying to find an excuse to keep that killing in Gaza continue I because because Muslims are bad Muslims are terrorists Muslims are poor so let's just like kill those people in Gaza you are this is exactly so what you're doing. intellectually lazy it's com it's comical because I'm not let's even talking you. about you see, you Gaza see, you keep insulting me we're, not, you we're keep insulting me up. because gonna, I'm because trying to share are like you are a you are a motherfucking racist you know like you how would you what if I, if I said, said that's that? racist i'm saying Everything that there's that you say about race is the way that you speak about muslims that we are terrorists and we are horrible people basically you're telling people that we deserve to do that Basta and Yusuf. israel has everything to do in order to kill those people that's I've, so anyways I, if i said if, zero of those words hopefully if my, you were if putting all those words in my, my mouth no 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 you said them you said them 
You said that. I, I said if zero my wife's of those cousin, words. who's a doctor, get killed yeah. tomorrow, I'm going to okay. send you a postcard. So if my actual cousin gets killed in Israel, they that's okay. Not, they will not. Because okay. you know what? They are safe because he's not living in an open air oh, prison. Oh, why, why are they safe? Maybe because they have the Israeli Defense Force, the yeah. Iron Dome that Good stops for you. all the missiles. They don't have that. Yeah, but they don't have that. Maybe you should have built that instead of oh, tunnels. With what? With all with the billions what? of foreign aid what, that was what given. Billion, what billion foreign aid are you. These, How much money does Iran give? How much money does Qatar give? How much does the international community Trickled through Israel. You understand that Israel is actually your, holding your that Your argument money holds from, no weight because all you're doing you, is defending you Hamas. Under, you have I'm zero not, argument. I'm, I'm the last one to defend Hamas, by the way. And I've actually said the terrorist group. And I don't be. And I'm a big fan of Hamas. But I'm just giving you some facts. Every single money that goes into Gaza goes through Israel. As a matter of fact, Biden has a big problem with Netanyahu because he's withholding the tax money that paid by the Palestinian people to the Palestinian Authority, and Netanyahu is holding it back. You're have you heard about that? Have you read about that? Just to days ago if you're reading your stuff but you don't but uh, the thing is Netanyahu is holding back the tax money from the Palestinian in West Bank and he's not giving it you're so Ahmed funny Abed. man you're so funny no you're, saying, you're, you're just saying so all ignorant. you're saying you're saying you're all ignorant. the money yeah. that's going to Hamas is coming through Israel sure filtered through sure. Israel sure all filtered the money through Israel yeah, all the money from Iran going right through Israel sure that's how likely. Ha, how all the money from Qatar the by Netanyahu okay. in 2019 the Likud okay. party telling them that he is actually over overlooking the amount of money coming from Qatar, and he is doing that in order to split the, the Palestinian Authority. Listen to I'm me. I'm familiar with how, this. How, I'm not disagreeing how, how with... About I, you, how about you not, listen, educate yourself I'm about not, that. I'm not disagreeing that Netanyahu has done some fucked up oh, things. Oh, here it is. Okay. Here it is. Oh, my God. Here it is. Biden is in frustrating call told Bibi to solve Palestinian tax revenue issues. Yeah, because issue? Israel is withholding that's, the taxes. You understand every single money that's transaction. That's your argument right there? Every, no, that's <laughs> part of the argument. Every single money transaction, whether it's taxes, whether it's aids, it has to go through the Israeli government. So all the money that Iran is funding Hamas, you're saying that goes through Israel? Is that what you're saying? Through Qatar, through Israel. Okay. That's f so false. It's so flagrantly false. I, I want you to educate what? yourself more. Okay. I will. I'll go read up on this. But if you mean to tell me that Israel is intercepting the money that Iran is sending to Hamas and says, yeah, we'll send it to you guys. But, but, Believe me, they're not doing it. By the way, it's 11.15. Read the transcript. Of the, of, it's it's 11.15. We're going to wrap up. Here's what I will say. Um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to be very honest with both of you guys. I mean, I'm, 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 I've been listening to both of you guys, and I love this. I love this. Let me tell you why. The average American right now is sitting there. There's a group that agrees with you. There's a group that agrees with you. Regardless of what it is, a lot was said, and it was actually pretty educated discussion for me. That, I'm normally not this quiet. I love the fact that I heard this conversation. I loved it. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here, and if you want to watch... Uh, I think I'm gonna do the whole. It seems interesting. Trigger me too much. It's triggering me too much. It seems too much interesting for me. I, I need to check it. I'm gonna check it without doing any reaction about, about it, guys. So thank you for sticking up with us, and see you for next reaction. Peace.